Hello everyone, my name is Brian McEnery, a hydrologist here at the National Weather Service located in the airport at Salt Lake City, Utah. Today is Saturday, December 12, 2015 and this is a mountain weather briefing looking at a pretty good winter storm coming our way. Let's get to it. So what we're looking at here are the winds at about 11,500 feet and you can see the winds coming down through the Pacific Northwest and then coming down southern Utah and kind of swooping through. This area right here is the Great Salt Lake Here's the west coast, here's Baja. And this system right here came through, but it went a little bit too far south for Utah, and we got just a little bit of snow. A lot of the energy was up here in the Pacific Northwest. However, if you look in this sector right here, this is what we expect to move through Utah on Sunday night, and this is going to bring a lot of snow, which is a good thing. So let's start with northern Utah. And we will see that snow totals in this area, we're looking at Snow Basin and Powder Mountain, anticipate about 12 to 18 inches of snow with 65 hundredths to an inch of water. Storm's going to start on Sunday night. It's going to go all the way through Tuesday afternoon. So we should have snow all day through that time on Monday, Monday night, Sunday night, and into Tuesday. The greatest snow intensity is going to be through Monday and, and you know, through the day for the most part. Peak snowfall rates will be about an inch per hour, and it's going to be cold enough to make it to the valley floors. And with that cold air, we're going to get decreasing snow density trends. When we look at the winds at Mount Ogden, what we see are, as the front comes through, We've got a really good front at start, 55 miles an hour uh, gusts with 30 sustain on late Sunday, you know, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening, and they're going to decrease. And when they first come through, it's going to be from the southwest, and then they're going to veer around in, in westerly directions, west-northwest, northwest, north-northwest on Tuesday, and then finish up northwesterly with some really low winds, about 25 miles an hour gusting and we're going to have sustained somewhere around 15 miles an hour during this time. So not a whole lot of wind with this event, but still a lot of moisture, a lot of snow. Then when we look at the central Wasatch, we're going to look at the front side. What we're looking at in this area are Snowbird, Alta, Brighton, and Solitude. We anticipate about 18 to 30 inches of snow with an inch to an inch and a half of snow water equivalent starting on Sunday going through Wednesday morning. So actually elongating the time a little bit. Greatest snow intensity is going to occur Sunday night through Monday with, with uh, peak snowfall rates, about an inch to two inches per hour. It's going to make it to the valley floor with decreasing snow density trends. And then when you look at the winds again, we're going to see Mount Baldy, which is a higher elevation, Mount Ogden, about 60 miles an hour with, with sustained at 30 on 5 p.m. Sunday coming out of the southwest. And then it's going to veer to the west with lower winds. But then as it moves through Tuesday and into early Wednesday, the winds are going to pick up again. And they're going to gust to about 50 with uh, sustained about 35 out of the north-northwest and then the northwest during this time frame. When we look at the central Wasatch backside, what we're going to see here, we're going to look at Park City, Sundance, Deer Valley, and the canyons. And the canyons will probably do on the high end of this. They do better in the northwest flow. But the snow totals are about 10 to 20 inches, 6,500s to about an inch and a inch, 1.2 inches. It's going to start Sunday night, and it's going to go through Tuesday night, not as long as the front side. The greatest snow intensity we're going to see it Monday evening with 2 inches per hour. You know, about 5,000 feet or roughly down to the valley floors with new sneds, snow density trends are going to be decreasing with that cold air. When we look at the winds at Jupiter Peak, they're going to start out about 45 mile an hour gusts with sustained about 20 miles an hour on 5 p.m. on Sunday out of the southwest. But then they're going to veer around and decrease till they hit about uh, Tuesday morning. We're only going to see winds maybe about you know 17 miles an hour and down to 5 miles an hour at that time out of the north-northwest. Pretty gentle winds. And then they're going to pick up again north-northwest or northwest 30 miles an hour, gusting to 15 miles an hour. When do we look at the Uinas? Well, we're going to see snow totals 15 to 20, about 7 tenths to 1.2 inches of water. It's going to start Sunday night and it's going to end Tuesday afternoon. And this is mostly for Windy Peak. Greatest snow intensity is Monday through Tuesday, about an inch per hour, down to the valley floor as it's cold. And these snow density trends are going to be decreasing with that cold air. 
with the winds, 60 miles an hour gusts to start with at 30 out of the southwest starting Sunday about 5 p.m. Then they're going to back off, and then they're going to pick up a little bit early Wednesday morning out of the north-northwest to the northwest with gusts about 35 and the sustained about 20 out of that direction. So be careful of the wind loading in these directions. Anything out of the west, northwest, southwest to start, we're going to see some wind loading coming out of that area. Okay, there you have it. First good storm of the year. It's good stuff. This is Brian McInerney. If you need any contact information, you can contact us on Facebook at the Weather Service. You can tweet us. Send me an email. And always, always a good idea. Look at the Utah Avalanche Center page. This is the first storm of the year. I've talked to these guys. They're about four cubicles down. And they're kind of concerned about this weak layer we've got already early season. UtahAvalancheCenter.org. So until the next storm, we'll go from there. Thanks for listening to this, and uh, we'll go.